It's the mayor. Welcome to Showface News. You call me what you want. Just don't call me woke. You're now rocking with the town favorite Showface News. It's Big Gotham. The real New York mayor, F. Eric Adams. And we're back again with another one. Gang, check it out. So, listen, man. Rico Reckless was on the No Jumper podcast talking real hot. Says that he somehow, you know, made Young Buck tuck his chain because... He was so much in fear of him. He was talking like he was a super duper stepper, super duper goon. We're going to get into it. And you know, I'm going to give my take on what's going on, man. Hit the like button, share the video. You're in the vibe. Stop we saw him got there with like Lizanne or somebody. Yeah, They're like, yeah, oh yeah. my God, Lizanne. I'm like, what is that? But I, <laughs> but I fuck with him though. Time, yeah, yeah, yeah. Another drill rapper. Zan, man. Yeah, you know, Zan is a drill rapper. His ass mm, a sleep rapper. His ass be off the Zans. I wish he had gone in that direction. That would have been hard. It would have been better. What the Matt Zan versus Slim Jesus. Where the fuck is the Zan at? Where the fuck is I, Slim I Jesus? I interviewed him like a couple months ago. And I, I was DMing Slim Jesus, but I, I don't know. He's like overdoing music, so I, don't, I think he might be overdoing interviews. Where the fuck is Man, where the fuck is Slim Jesus? I'm going to take my fucking ponytail out, man. I got to look like a fucking... I like the fucking nigga. When you mad, I'm going to take my braids off your potato. I got to like that. All right, man, now I'm cool now. Reckless. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Like this? So what were, what were you about to get into there? What, what's oh, the, yeah, the Remo line of questioning? Uh, yeah. Hey, I've been watching Remo too. I told him I've been watching him. I, you know, you know, what I told him backstage, never be scared to ask none of these nothing. There you go. Because if you do, that means you a bitch. So if you can not be scared to ask certain niggas, certain, it's gonna boot you up because they then look at you like you ain't scared to ask for that. They give you a certain respect, yeah, vice yeah. versa. You being around the bush around them, shit, I'm gonna be like, what is that? Why is the dread so far back? Like, what what happened to his dreads? Hold on, game. We gonna have to. Sorry, I know this is like what happened to his head game. Shit, this is too far back. You know what I mean? This is like I don't know what style this is, champ, but this is too far back, game respectfully. Don't know what happened. I assume you was crying, you know, when you got your your, your treads done, cause those right there, champ. Those right there look like caterpillars is just the sleeping on your top and then the puffy tail. It's like a caterpillar slash raccoon. I don't know, gang. This is this is a wild style here. I already know this is gonna be a very uh interesting segment. They did like button shitty video. That's crazy though. I'm ducking this shit. Nah, I ain't ducking that. I got all the questions for you right saying. now. So the first thing I'm gonna start off with, cause like all right, when we first really kicked it off, seeing you around and shit, like I think my first time maybe even seeing you was on like a say cheese. Long time yeah, ago. Yeah, when he came to Chicago. A long I, time ago. Uh, I had made the diss song. That's what I you didn't did. want to do that interview either. Uh, at the time, my sister Stacy, Stacy Supreme, she was helping doing my shit. And she was listening to me talk so much. She was like, bro, if you ever do an interview, bro, you're going to go far because you just got a different way of thinking, but it's so <laughs> truthful. And I'm like, bitch, I ain't doing no interview. And I ain't no doing And the interview. song was hit him up, right? Yeah. All uh, right. And that's when you diss everybody in Chicago. Yeah. Classic and move. It was Classic a, move. It was your city cent. on you fire. Took a page out of 50 Cent book. Literally. All like, right. I literally just was with 50 Cent too. Like his ass got a, he got a, he got to go ahead and spread some funds out, man. That's good. I got like a hundred, I got like five hundred million. Dollars. Let me get some fifty. Stop playing, boy. Why, how, Put why? me in a movie or something. Like we get a nigga. How were you around fifty? Man, life crazy. You went to the concert or? Hell nah. I was just somewhere. And you, his ass like, boy, I quit you. I'm gonna quit you too. And then they like, yeah, we always want to try to fuck with each other. Tight shit. Do like, you in a yeah. reckless? Take a Samus Junior right now. I right, bring Junior back. One Junior time, disciple. All right, one time I was wearing Young Buck. He tucked his chain around Young Buck. One time I was wearing Studio Young Buck. His bitch ass tucked his chain. Now nah, I don't care. I'm like, ah, untuck my chain. Now. Fuck <laughs> you, top. Ah, he untucked that. That's what he did. Oh, like, that's what he did. <laughs> oh, but that's what he did. I'm in the studio with Young Buck. He his ass thought I left. I end up leaving my phone though. I come back in the studio. He got his whole chain out. Maybe he had to fuck out the whole time we've been oh, in the studio. I, I lost my respect for him. But yeah, I with Tony Ayo though, and I fuck Lloyd Banks. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh man, so hold on. Randomly said that bro tucked his chain around him. He had shook randomly. I don't know if I believe this or not. I mean, I could. I mean, it's young Buck after all. We don't really have here too many stories about Buck ever doing anything crazy. Like, let's be real here, man. But I've heard Buck do some very, uh, you know, alphabetical things. Let's just say that then. If you know, you know. I said alphabetical things. You know, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. I see them do a couple of those things, champ. I don't know about anything in in regards to, you know, being in the streets or doing anything tough or anything like that. But I definitely 
definitely seen him do his alphabet soup a couple times. And I believe y'all also seen him do his alphabet soup a couple times. <laughs> Hit the like shitty video. I I ask young buck about that. Fuck it, yeah, yo, and Lloyd Banks. All right, so where did it go wrong with uh, you and sixty third? Because I think like I'm the reason people act like they don't want to admit this, but you know I'm the reason why people say you know I'm from sixty third because I used to be treating the fuck out them like literally. But before you was treating them, before y'all was even into it, y'all used to be rocking out this old vibe. You want status update? You want to hear something crazy? They used to be around me. I never went to 63rd or we with them though. On my son and my daughter, I never went to 63rd. I used to have a manager and he was GD as f So he used to always try to keep the GDs around me. But I never was GD. I always been Blackstone, but I don't even game man though. I'm regular yeah. game. I'm just a rapper. But I used to man, You don't game man, you just a rapper, but bro, you just talking hot, bro. And he's always talking hot. I mean, let's be honest, man. We hear a lot about Rico Reckless, but we don't hear about Rico Reckless being super duper involved in any type of you know, action that takes place in Chicago. Let's be real here. Yeah. You know, we seen him on what was that? DJ Vlad. It was somebody's um somebody's interview he was on. He was celebrating and being hype about witnessing dudes spitting other dudes' bonds in, in in the prison system. Like out there in Chicago, which was a very, very suspect, by the way. Incredibly suspect. You know, but he be acting like he had he had like a terror out there in Chicago like bro it's very hard to believe any of that you know to be fair he almost like the whack 100 of the shy because Broby Broby talking like he he did some things but at the same time you don't hear other people saying it you feel me like you hear other people saying Vaughn did this Vaughn did that or et cetera or whoever else is in Chicago that's official but bro don't be on nothing and he just told you he's not a gangbanger in the first place and the people in Chicago who really be on nonsense usually be gangbangers they jacking GD, BD, whatever they jacking you feel what I'm saying so very hard to believe Rico Reckless because Rico Reckless is very questionable yeah, hit the like share the video let's keep it going gang I used to bring them niggas around me them niggas I never used to like let me go on 63rd now I used to go on like certain areas like like up in like MOB, I used to go over there, like 59th, I used to go over yeah. there. Or like down there on, on like the one, I might used to go down there because I used to live down there. Or like, but I never went on 63rd. Like, I, I don't never like, hey, let, hey, take me on 63rd. Like, I, I never did that. It, All right, so it always been goofy to me. Even to the point, I sort of got, I can't make this up. They might get mad at me saying this, but even when I lived on 75th and we used to fuck with 69th and 69th stopped bringing 63rd over there, I used to put a phone to the side like, man, they fucking goofy. Because who? I, who specifically? <laughs> all of them. Okay. All of them. Truthfully told, because I used to live down there on like I used to stay like on thirty fifth, and like so like and I used to fuck with my fuck on fifty second like modem. You know I think I was told you Blackstone. I used to fuck with modem on fifty second. They used to fuck snake them on fifty first. So I used to be everywhere. I used to be down there. With and then even then like I saw some fool ass shit that they did like nigga fronting this shit before. So I'm like oh yeah. So when they started trying to come around, uh, folding them. Folding them used to only want to fuck them because they had clout. Like, niggas in Chicago are f with you for a lot of reasons. If you a known killer, they'll f with you. If you got, like, bitches, they'll f with you. If you know how to get money, they'll f with you. If you're a block busting, they'll f with you. They don't even genuinely f with you. It's more like a clout thing. So at the time, they had clout for being in tour with. So niggas was just f with them. But I used to tell them, like, man, they fucking goofy, gang. Like, it's not gonna work. Like, RIP my nigga J Real. Me and J Real used to be like, man, this shit goofy. So you ain't think anybody from 63rd career will work out? It's own. not about a career because them niggas been rapping before. Duck been rapping since Duck and like I don't even can I put Billy in that shit? I don't know because Billy was He like, kicked it off. But Billy was like not 63rd. He was 43rd. He was like Welter World and shit. But then I don't even know what that situation, but okay. I know Doug been rapping for a long time. Like if it's some niggas Chicago gonna be rapping for a long time, it's being that black, Lil Dirk, Duck. Ede. Ede was my favorite. Ede, Ede and Fredo was my favorite, but like um uh, I used to know them niggas rapping for a long Even Chief Keef, them niggas rapping. Like, y'all might only see rapping start at 2012, but I've been seeing it since like 07, 08, back in like the Lil' Less days, uh, Lo uh, Loco from fucking uh, 69th and Dorchester, White Mike, 
King Louie, fucking them was like Bum J. Bum J was the number one Chicago drill rapper that ever. And he wanted, he was just the number one Chicago rapper before he went to jail. So never forget, we all Bum J kids. That was like before. Like, we not drill, Twister but... kids. We not Kanye West kids. We not Do or Die kids. We all Bum J. Every nigga that rap from Chicago that rapped the gang shit, they a Bum J kid. But Bum J had that big of an influence Bum on J the, the drill wave. That said thirty and ops in a song. Really? The first you can go back and talk about the nigga. First nigga that pulled out a thirty shot clip up in the video. The first nigga that said I got opposition. Like no people didn't never knew it. Ops stand for opposition, but he was the first nigga to say that. Like slap. Who in the world didn't know that ops stand for opposition? Come on, bro. We ain't dumb. Like you trying to act like you educating. Like come on, bro. You know some of the worst people be the people who who say simple things and be like they educating. Like bro, we're not idiots. <laughs> we're not fools, bro. Who didn't know that ops? Stood for opposition. I knew that when the first time I heard the term ops, and I'm in opposition. Come on, dog. We, we like champ. That's what I be talking about, champs. You don't really see Rico Reckless around that much. I mean, you see him on Vlad and whatnot. But Rico Reckless, I mean, when the last time you heard a song from bro, like you heard songs from, him, but it was a while back, like what 2017 ish, somewhere around there, like. Bro's just, I don't know, he's an odd character. And like I said about that head champ, I don't know. Hit the like, share the video. Polaroid, that was his best friend. That was my big homie. Slap Polaroid was the one that put me in this shit. I, I was a Bum J fan, but I didn't really like think of y'all as being like influenced by him well, as much. Everybody, you ain't you ain't you ain't a Chicago gangster rapper if you ain't look up to Bum J because Bum J did it. Like he had his own style and he was really gangster and pull up, beat your ass, shoot you. He robbed the bank like, allegedly. Like he did. What, that nigga was like, yeah, Bum J. So he was the one that had an influence that y'all was looking up. Rum J, and then the other nigga name was was fucking Lil Less. Go do your research up on Lil Less. He had one eye. Nigga lost his eye. And nigga, he would shoot everybody in front of Allegedly, they just act like he was like the best shooter yeah. rapper ever. But on gang, like these niggas was like, to the point, one time Bump J and Lil Less did a song, but Chicago almost shut down because they used to be into it because Less was a GD, Bump with the four. Them niggas did a song, but no, Chicago then up, shut down. All right, tight. Then, we had, you know, it's like. So at one point you duck and everybody y'all used to be hanging out and then it shit. wasn't okay. So if people gonna get mad at me, they, they phone them used to bring them around. But duck, let me see. I lost you guys. Let me see. If I ever say it ain't on my phone. B that was cool. B that was cool. Duck was cool. But they but I but they wasn't. I ain't never saved his number on my phone. He was never and I got everybody never say it. Uh, I never saved his number on my phone. Duck. Like never. So that just lets you know. I never stayed night up at his house. I only see him when phone them bring him around. So it's like, I right, bet. Because the phone them, you cool. Like, you know how the streets go. Like, because the phone them, you cool. Like, I don't know Brick Baby, because I know Koala Bear first. Brick Baby cool. You know what I'm talking about, though? Like, so it's like. So where you even meet? Uh, all right, so y'all used to do the JoJo see him parties, the right? The BDK parties and shit. Yeah. yeah right. Everybody used to go there. Was Payment Dex used to be in that motherfucker. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Everybody, like, <laughs> it was busting. So yeah, that's like where you was really. I think I saw Kirk Frank in that motherfucker one time. I was just dumb. Oh, man, what the fuck you doing, Kirk? What the fuck out of here? You trying to man? I seen fuck? recently, I gotta say this Swag De Niro said that uh, he said that you was going to the BD parties or he said that you was clout chasing at the BD parties to get close to JoJo. You seen that? I, I only. People hate when I say this, but I only met JoJo probably like twice or three times in my life. Like, I was really outside for real. Like, and I'm not taking this from him, but JoJo was. You, you see on my back of my shirt, it's a free stain. Stain, that was JoJo homie. Like Stain to get mad for, 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 for niggas getting on saying something about JoJo shit because this was his homie. So Stain was my best friend. So like when I'm I moved to when I moved to Woogara on 75th and Stewart, uh, when I moved to Woogara, JoJo probably died like for like maybe like a year later, or like a year later. But I okay 75th and Stewart, that's Woogara, 69th and, and like and like. What's that? 69 for like Eggleston and shit like that. That's Brisk Squad. That's JoJo them shit. Our blocks used to fuck with each other, but it's like you like on some party shit, we'll go fuck each other. But I ain't never just walk down there and fuck with them. Like Lil Mister, RP Lil Mister, he used to. JoJo was his homie. But like me, I just know JoJo from being like on Facebook. He's been up in like I had Facebook. He'd be like, hey dad, go 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 like this picture. Hey dad, go comment this picture. So when I finally did meet him, I'm like, oh, because it was another Rico named Peter Rico. So then my name was Reckless. It was like, oh, Rico Reckless with a P Rico type of shit. But man, P Rico. P Rico to. Bro, this guy says he be outside for real and et cetera, et cetera. Bro, he be talking a lot about people who really was wilding. But we didn't hear about him wilding. <laughs> and he not even gangbanging. 
you know gangbang at all in Chicago. The wildest ones are all gangbangers. I'm just saying. Not to say that if somebody can't gangbang be neutral, but in Chicago, like it ain't there ain't too many neutrals. I'm just gonna be real. I don't know people from Chicago. The people I know from Chicago, they still claim the set. Still. To this day, still. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And when it's that time, it's that time. But bro, like he he be doing a lot of chatting and done a lot of weird stuff. He has a track record for doing this. So I said he probably like the Chicago Whack 100. To be fair, I'm just speaking in a thousand with you. Hit the like, share the video. Same person, right? P. P. Dot Rico, he made the song. Oh, yeah, 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 they was that was his homie. That was their crowd. My crowd was staying. Okay, it was like my crowd was with Stain, but he had his own crowd when he was down there. One time I though, so like sometimes I fucking see each other. We'll say what up, it'd be cool. But it like it wasn't like I was I fucked with my area was called Jojo Rural. That's why I was called Jojo Rural because the area we we Uga Rural and like because Jojo died, they called everything around here Jojo Rural because he impacted the community because we watched him get famous. Yeah, y'all. So 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 that's that's the that's the little interview. I mean, that ain't the full interview, but that's that's what they put out there. So let me say this right. I honestly about Rico Reckless, like bros of bozo, like. He's one of these people that kind of like vicariously lives through other people or, you know, claims, you know, some some real gangster shit, but he really ain't <laughs> gangbanging. You feel what I'm saying? Like, you hear him talk some tough nonsense, something about jail and all this, but bro, you weren't the one doing it. You feel what I'm saying? Like, it's not you doing it. Someone else did it, but you're just talking about it, acting like you were involved, but you weren't. You feel what I'm saying? That's That's what he does. You know what I mean? I mean, and it kind of reminds me of whack, but difference is he's just not claiming a set. He ain't shouting out no sets. You know, so very weird, man. Very weird. I mean, I'm, and as far as this young bug situation is concerned, I'm like <laughs> Young Bug just randomly made tuck his chain because of you. Like I doubt I really doubt that. Like Maybe he did duck his shame, but do you think you I think he was the reason? I'm gonna let y'all decide in the comments. Do y'all think he was the reason that Buck tucked his shame if he did do it? Do you even believe he tucked his shame at all? You let me know in the comment section game, but this is Showface News, man. The mayor, the only mayor of Gotham. You heard? Stop playing. You reading on the public service announcement. Salute. More content is on the way. You have a unit vibes. Let's get into it. Oh my god, damn, boy! 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 Oh my